Ladies and gentlemen, convocation is now in session. As chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 293rd convocation. To all graduates, first let me say congratulations. You have worked hard to achieve this, and graduation represents a major milestone in your lives. At convocation, we assemble as a university community, the University of Western Ontario community, to celebrate and to recognize your achievements at Western and to wish you every success in the future. However, your learning days are far from over. Learning is a lifetime process, and Western has not provided you with answers to all questions. At most, we hope that what stays with you is a way of thinking objectively and approaching problems with an open mind and a healthy respect for new ideas, all tempered with compassion and empathy for the human condition. You are forever a cherished member of this great university, founded more than one century ago, and we welcome you into the Western family. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Now today, we also confer an honorary degree upon James Rourke in acknowledgement of his leadership in family medicine and his contributions as the founding director of the Southwestern Ontario Rural Regional Medical Education Research and Development Unit. I am delighted to welcome him to this convocation and to present our distinguished candidate, I now call upon Dean Carol Herbert, Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry. James Rourke. Almost 130 years ago, the medical school at Western was formed for the sons of farmers from rural southwestern Ontario to receive medical education and training. The vision was to enhance medical care for the growing population of our region, a vision that remains a key part of our mission today, thanks in large part to our honorary degree recipient. Today we can truly say we are honoring one of our own, someone who has not only come from a rural background himself, but who has worked tirelessly to advocate on behalf of rural and regional communities, transforming medical education in southwestern Ontario and influencing the development of rural and regional medicine across Canada and worldwide. Dr. James Rourke grew up on a farm and attended a one-room schoolhouse. He received his MD in 1976 and then went on to pursue his residency training in family medicine in 1978 and later his Master of Clinical Science in Family Medicine in 1993, all at Western. He was a practicing family physician in Goderich, Ontario from 1979 to 2004, including obstetrics and emergency work at his local hospital. It was a practice and role he shared with his wife, Dr. Leslie Rourke, who is also a Western alumna. Their practice became one of the first rural teaching sites for Western in the 1980s and 1990s as the development of distance education and rural and regional practice began to gain momentum. Building on the success of rural family medicine education, it was in 1997 that a systematic approach to rural training was formally established at Western. Led by Dr. James Rourke, the Southwestern Ontario Rural Medicine Education Research and Development Unit, known as SWARM, was established. To facilitate undergraduate and postgraduate training in the region and to foster research regarding rural health human resources and rural practice. By 2002, Swarm grew to a fully integrated network including Windsor and London and dozens of communities in the region, what we now know today as the Southwest, the Southwestern Ontario Medical Education Network or SWOMEN. Rural and regional training became a core thread throughout the four-year medical curriculum and training students and residents outside the urban centre of London became the norm. An outstanding physician, teacher, mentor and administrator, Dr. Rourke has also become one of the world's foremost experts on rural medicine, publishing more than 90 journal articles. He was the chair of the World Organization of Family Doctors Working Party in Rural Practice, and he was involved in a World Health Organization project called Health for All Rural People. 
In Canada, he was instrumental in the development of the Northern Ontario Medical School, serving as project director of the medical education design team in 2000 to 2001. He has received many awards and honors, including the College of Family Physicians of Canada W. Victor Johnson Oration in 2007, and the D.I. Rice Award of Merit in 2004, the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario Council Award, Community Teacher of the Year Award from the Ontario College of Family Physicians, and numerous teaching awards from Western. Dr. Rourke continues his leadership in advocacy and his research in rural regional medicine in Newfoundland and Labrador, where he has just entered a new term, a second term, as Dean of Medicine at Memorial University of Newfoundland. Since he has become Dean in April 2004, he's traveled extensively throughout Newfoundland and Labrador and in New Brunswick, visiting rural teaching sites and medical clinics, and practicing from time to time to keep his skills up and his license in order. On a personal note, Dr. Rourke is a good friend. He's someone for whom I have the greatest respect. He is thoughtful, persuasive, articulate, warm, and passionate about the health care rights and needs of those in the rural and regional communities everywhere in the world. We truly miss his presence here at Schulich Medicine and Dentistry, and we are very proud to welcome our friend home to Western today to recognize his outstanding contributions. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor and in the name of the Senate, I ask you to confer the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa, upon Dr. James Work. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. Congratulations, Dr. Burke. Thank you for being here. Very good. I'll be very absolutely. I'll give you this before you go away. <laughs> And Paul will take it from me. Thank you. all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumnus, Dr. James Rourke, to address convocation. <clears throat> Chancellor John Thompson, President Paul Davenport, distinguished guests, friends, families, and most important, all graduates. I am deeply grateful for the honor you bestowed upon me today and for the opportunity now to address the graduating class. Having grown up in Southwest Ontario and graduated from the University of Western Ontario, this is especially meaningful to me. We, you and I, as graduates of the University of Western Ontario, share a special bond. Since Dr. Davenport called me, I've been reflecting on what to say to you. It seems to take some time to subconsciously bounce things around inside my brain, and then sometimes, often in an inspiring setting or moment, seemingly out of the blue sky, the idea will come to me. In this particular case, it was on a very sunny day while I was snowshoeing on 10 feet of snow in the Mealy Mountains in Labrador. In fact, when I got back to, winter tent, to the winter tent, I jotted down my initial ideas on paper towels because that was the only paper I had with me that time other than toilet paper. And so to remind me of that moment, I brought the paper towels with me today. So here goes. My address to you today is about two things. One, opportunity. And two, making the world a better place. First, opportunity. I will share with you a little bit more of my own history now. I was born in Wyarton Hospital, a town made famous by Wyarton Willie, an albino groundhog who, as you all know, predicts whether winter will be soon or long or whether spring will arrive early. What you may not know is that my father had grade six education. My mother was a school teacher 
and although, and she almost died from tuberculosis. Thanks to the discovery of a drug called streptomycin, she recovered, or else I would not be here to address you today. We lived in a small family farm on the Bruce Peninsula, and we had very little money. Although education was a core family value, in many parts of the world, that would, that would have been about it for me, with almost no chance for someone in my kind of situation to go on to university and become a doctor. However, my first great opportunity, and one I share with most of you, came from living in Canada, a country with a strong educational system where good education has been made available to most everyone. And so, with a mixture of student loans, grants and scholarships, and relatively low tuition, I was given the opportunity to come and study at this great university. You too have had the opportunity to come and study at the University of Western Ontario. Some from Western Ontario like myself, some from other places in Canada, and others from all around the world. And what a great opportunity we have shared in having studied at this university. Like many of you, I lived in residence for my first year. Soggy and Maitland Hall, which much to the university's embarrassment, was known in those days as the zoo for the wild parties we had in the 1970s. But what an opportunity it was to make friends with students from so many different places and life experiences. For example, my first year roommate, Tom Carr, remains a close personal friend to this day, and I hope you will value and maintain the close friends that you have developed over your years at Western. Western also provided an opportunity for romance. It was in my first year that I met Leslie Bertram, also a first year science student. Leslie lived at Delaware Hall, which in those days was affectionately known as the Delaware Hilton, because it seemed like such a luxurious residence compared to Soggy and Maitland Hall. After our biology tutorial in the temporary buildings, we would walk together to our next classes. And embarrassingly for a while, we each didn't admit to not knowing the other's name, thinking that, of course, the other one did know. You know how awkward that can be. Later this month, Leslie and I will celebrate 35 wonderful years of marriage, marriage <clears throat> and I hope that at least for some of you, your opportunity for Western romance will turn out as well as ours had. And importantly, you and I have had the opportunity to study and learn at Western, consistently ranked one of the top medical, doctoral, research intensive universities in Canada, and among the best places to learn in the entire world. For me, after the sciences, I had the opportunity to study medicine at Western. Every day in my career as a physician, and now as Dean of Medicine, I have used the knowledge, skills, and attitudes that I developed here while at Western through my learning experiences, from the positive interactions with the excellent faculty, the helpful staff, the inquisitive fellow students, and in the case of medicine, the patients we learned to help. Since I graduated, medicine has advanced dramatically. CAT scans, MRIs, drugs to cure diseases that earlier required surgery or had little hope for a cure at all. And the world is such a different place today from computers to the internet to iPhones and so many other ways, good and bad, and that includes both politics and the environment. And this is where you start out today. We cannot even dream of the changes you will see as you as graduates go forward from here. Just as for me, the knowledge, skills, and attitudes that you have learned at Western will be a solid foundation for your lives and careers in the years to come. And this brings me to the second theme, and I think this is the most important part of this address. As we look ahead, we face great challenges. It is crises and chaos that provide the greatest opportunities to make a difference. It is your generation that will shape the future. And a lot of help is needed to make the world a better place. You, like I, have had the opportunity to study at one of the best universities in one of the best countries in the world. And now, 
more than most people in the entire world, you have the opportunity to make a difference in the lives around you. Both by your everyday actions, your kindnesses and help to others, and in the bigger scheme of things, in the bigger scheme of things, go, full, go boldly forth and find new ways to treat cancer and better yet, prevent cancer. Clean up the environment and better yet, prevent pollution in the first place. Recover the economy and better yet, develop systems that are more robust and treat people fairly worldwide. Stop wars and better yet, build lasting peace and prosperity. Making a big difference requires co cooperation and collaboration. Any of the successes that I have had have been with the help of others. My family and colleagues have been so important. Dean Doug Bocking was, was a dean when I entered medical school. Dr. Robert McMurtry was the UWO Dean of Medicine who helped me make the vision of the Southwestern Ontario Rural Medicine Network become a reality. Dr. Carol Herbert, current UWO Dean of Medicine, has been a long-standing mentor and role model. Similarly, my job now as Dean of Medicine at Memorial University is to foster the successes of others. Likewise, you too have many to thank who helped you get to where you are today. By working together as you go forward, you will contribute to each other's successes and we'll be able to make the world a better place. Congratulations, graduates. You have worked hard and earned your degrees. Now I close with my best wishes for your every success with this quote from Minor Myers, Jr. Go into the world and do well. But more importantly, go into the world and do good. Use your opportunity to make the world a better place. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rourke, for a thoughtful and inspiring address. At Western, and of course now at Memorial University, you have put into practice your commitment to extending the university into the community. Across Canada, we have tremendous resources of medical science, research, and clinical expertise within our schools of medicine. You have been a leader in extending those resources to serve people directly in their own communities, throughout their respective regions, and particularly in rural areas. Your pioneering work with the Southwestern Ontario Medical Education Network has made it possible for rural communities to receive the highest quality of medical care, and for aspiring practitioners to gain essential rural medical experience. We are very pleased to welcome you back to Western this afternoon as our newest honorary graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me once again in congratulating Dr. James Rourke. <clears throat> Will the candidates for degrees please stand? Mr. Chancellor, I am honored to present to you the candidates who have successfully completed their academic programs at Western. I ask you to admit them to the degrees and diplomas for which they have been recommended by the Senate of the University. Under the authority vested in me by the Senate, you will be admitted to the degrees and diplomas as shall be announced by the public order. Will the candidates please be seated? <clears throat> Mr. Chancellor, graduating students, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, convocation is the single most important time of celebration 
in the life of the University of Western Ontario. Today we honor those students who through determination, hard work, and intelligence have met the demanding standards of a Western degree. We also honor their families, including their parents, spouses, and children, who have played such an important role in helping our graduating students to reach the milestone which our ceremony today represents. Those of you who cross the stage today will be joining a special group, Western alumni, who number over 240,000 people around the world. Mr. Jim Metherington, past president of our Alumni Association and an outstanding community leader in London, is here with us today, and I would ask him please to stand and be recognized. <laughs> Western's Board of Governors is charged with responsibility for the overall governance of this institution. Representing today uh, the Board of Governors is Ms. Irene Burrell, uh, an outstanding university secretary known around the country for her leadership. I would ask her please to stand and be recognized. <clears throat> Let me offer a special thank you to all of the parents, spouses, children, relatives, and friends who are here today to join in our celebration of academic achievement. Without your support, our graduates, in many cases, might not have been able to complete their degrees. So I ask that our graduating students please rise once again, turn around and face your family and friends, and give them a round of applause for the love and support that made this day possible. Let me congratulate once again the remarkable women and men who graduate today with Western degrees. Today you become partners in the outstanding academic achievements of the University of Western Ontario. I charge you then, as graduates of a distinguished Canadian institution, never to forget the great benefits you have acquired in this place, and to remember that wherever you go, you carry with you the good name of the University of Western Ontario. This will be my last week of convocations at Western. On June 30, I will retire after being your president for 15 years. During that time, I have watched our university transformed by the dedication and hard work of faculty, staff, students, and alumni. I offer them all my most profound thanks. And to our graduating students, please accept my warmest congratulation on what is a very great day for each and every one of you. Good luck. Before we proceed with the ceremonies, I have two special requests for those of you in the audience. First, please withhold your applause for the graduates crossing the platform until each group of graduates has received degrees. This will ensure that every graduate receives our full courtesy throughout the ceremony. Second, we know that photographs are an important memory of this occasion to the graduates and their families. To ensure that you and the audience have the best opportunity to get good pictures, I ask that you do the following. When your special graduate is about 40 names in the program from crossing the stage, please proceed to the area along the wall to my right, over on that side, and the ushers will guide you forward in order that you may capture your special moments with your cameras. I now call on the public orators to introduce the candidates for degrees.
Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the School of Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies for the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Mustafa Naim Al-Sabawi. Sharia Alam. Charles Darwin Anan. Sara Arabi. Xiao Feng Bai. Sudhan Sampad Banik. Bernard Chu. Ji Yun Cho. <coughs> Bashar Hadi. Tesfalem Gebremedin Haile. <laughs> Min Gu Kim. Rahima Lucky. <coughs> Colin Patrick McDonald.
Shangbo Meng. Sheikh Abdur Radzak. Nicholas Ivan Ruzic. Mehran Soleimani. Alper Turan. Tianfu Wang. Jiming Shu. Mohammad Reza Dadash Zadeh. Ki Zhang. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Master of Engineering. Lutfie Albarazi, Abu Shami Muhammad Arif, Xiangrong Cheng, Xing Chi Chao, Amandeep Singh Daliwal, Mesfin Sise Gebreyes.
Jashan Pratap Singh Grewal, Navkaran Singh Grewal, Sanpreet Kaur. James Lee, Janming Ma, Shu Shu. Abdul Martin Kwaji, Li Min Zhang. Tuo Yu Zhao. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Master of Engineering Science. Inusa Abdullahi, Merdad Bokharare, Jeremy Wayne Camps Roach. Sedor Rahman Chowdhury, Erin Ashley Cullen, Pregya Paramita Dash. Christopher Thomas de Groot. Mer Mehdi Faroknejad Rutsari, Fazel Mohammad Bakshishi. <laughs> Mohammad Nazrul Islam, Christopher Edwin Kennedy. Shu Kai Kong. <coughs> Jing Hui Lu, Hataf Merabian. Daval Dash Rath by Patel. Mohammad Faisal Rahman, Drew James Rankin, Ruchi Bipin by Shah. Eranga Ukwata, Kosmin Dan Yurian, Mernaz Zuki. Mr. Chancellor, 
The following are candidates from the Faculty of Engineering for the degree Bachelor or Baccalaureate of Engineering Science. Motaz Bella Abdul Kalek, Rami Abu Ayash, Ahmed Abu Shahada. Hassan Al Safar, Nadia Ali, Nuruddin Ali. James Gordon Allen. Ahmed Mohammed Al Madun Ali Al Sadi <laughs> Jordan Samuel Axford Basil Azizia Osama Ribi Badar Ladies and gentlemen, we do understand your enthusiasm, but these outbursts, outbursts really will slow us down, and it's not fair to the candidates whose names cannot be heard when we announce them. Please, no more outbursts. Bilal Batter, Joshua Bart, gold medalist, Adam Beamish. Aparna Bhattacharya, Brent Llewellyn Biro, Jeffrey Blaylock. Martin Blazajowski. Catherine Ann Blundy, Patrick Buenbrazo. Eric Cameron, Adam Carroll, Alexander Keith Catterford. Waishun Chan, Hoi Ki Chung, Benjamin Peter Chilibeck. <clears throat> Vivian Wonjian Chung, Alexi William Shuiko, Joshua Cochran. Brian Robert Logan Coulter, gold medalist. James Cunningham, Alicia DeBook.
Wei Liang Deng, Ryan DeVries, Josemar Dominguez. Alexander Draca, Roman Elazar, Maha Elbarani. <clears throat> Jonathan Eng, Hayam Tirani, Nicole Fernandez. Christian Fisher, Michelle Flodrowski, Jordan Foster. <laughs> Lauren Michael Friedman. Ronald French, gold medalist. Mark Fergala. Lila Garib, Lunasrida Ghosh, Joshua William Giles. Helen Cheong Gong, Patrick Greer, David Gregg. Stephanie Marie Gursky, Kevin Hall, Brandon Hazelwood. <laughs> Matthew Heffernan, Caitlin Elizabeth Henderson Toth, David Hendry. Bahia Hepburn, Ryan Herblum, Christopher Hearn. Po Hin Ho. Alexander Holt, Wen Ji Hu. Spencer George Harwood Hughes, Robert Jagger, Jerome James. Yeah. 
Mark Jans, Terry Jansen, Nualjaroz Kasempai Bulsuk. Sinan Kilani, Naramath Kamvongsa, Hashim Khan. Peru Sothman Kiri Harakunan, Gregory Joseph Kish, Governor General Silver Medalist, Matthew John Class. Robert Daniel Sean Coco, Anthony Rafael Latore, Julie Ladigis. Imran Lalji. Stephen Latta, Nathan Lucock. Timothy Kwan Han Lo, David Lopez, Miguel Maglatak. Rahul Malhotra, Brett Maines, Greg Mara. Paolo Marcello, Carmen Marcochia, Kari McCabe. Bradley McKellar, Ashley McManus, Melissa Memes. Michael Ross Mattel, David Mizen, Alexandra Christina Louise Moore. Benjamin Robert Morgan, Diane Teresa Jean Murray, Rami Naji. Pierre Najar, 
Daniel Neal, Victoria Odiemi. William Okanek, Vimalanathan Olaganathan, Christoph Ozowski. <laughs> Tiffany Palmer, Travis Parker, Matthew Payne. Andrew Perkins, Sanjay Kopal Prasad, Jonathan Mark Petrobon. Patrick Mikel Pilon, Michael Pilak, Imran Pirani. Graham Plater. Ryan Price, Lucas Pohl. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Veronica Puzio, gold medalist. Jonathan Kaihanu Vargas, Ganesh Raj. Matthew Radcliffe, Warren Otto Renus, Juan Sebastian Rincon. Brent Ritchie, Lisa Rogers, Tyler Rosen. Pauline Severe, Kenneth Richard Shannon, Jennifer Aaron Simich. Brian Jeffrey Sinclair, Chantel Jacqueline Smith, Cheryl Panetta Sotomil. John Staines, Sarah Stenabaugh, Matthew Stahl. Okay. 
Michael Tracy, Johan van der Ryden, Eric Vetiaho. Corey Voisin, Laura Watts, Ryan Weiss. Sean Christopher Wellbanks, David Williams, Matthew Warren Wills. <laughs> Gary Wylan Wong, Wei Zhu, Gautam Yadav. Sam Ye, Cheng Zhao, Mustafa Zibaj. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry and the Faculty of Science for the degree Bachelor or Baccalaureate of Medical Sciences four-year program. Maria Del Pilar Barrios, Namlin Dang, Golmon Forugi. Natasha Jade Krotowski, Clara Lee, Christian Lustig. Yasmin Hamed Nairouk, Jeffrey Peckover, gold medalist, Michael Rossetto. Matthew James Sadafal, Alex Subrati, Hui Ying Teo. Emil Petrus Johannes Weinker. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor or Baccalaureate of Science four-year program. Fidel Alam, Christopher Allen, Amanda Ashley Beribakovsky.
Katie Big Canoe, Jeffrey Robert Blomas, Crystal Renee Brady. Rema Camille Braish, Joshua Brooks, Brianne Carnegie. Amanda Cates, Kevin Chung, Alex Charles Robertson Chisholm. Michelle Lynn Churchman, Ryan Cole, Craig Colquhoun. Lauren Dalton, Crystal Dawson, Human Dagan. Vatsal Desai, Danielle Desario, Christina Dulaverakis. Stephanie Duong, Omar El Ansari, Ian Farquharson. Thomas Fitchman, Jason Michael Fleming, Matthew Edward Garton. Christine Elizabeth Jane Greaves. Alexander James Harkness, Jinbao Tang. Tom Anathansios Harmantas, Lindsay Hatchell, Leah Hilsentager. Adrian Yu Hong Ho, May Allison Harisak, Justin John. Sarah Karina Kennedy, Loxe Ma, Ryan Allen Marantet. (coughs) 
Allison McKenzie, Martin McLean, Emily Mailer. Kyle Amir Rudra Mohammed, Gregor Moss, Olawasola Olawuyi. Matthew Painter, Ashley Polovniak, Christina Quick. Emily Reedy, Barry Shea Kirschenbaum Rose, Rebecca Saslov. Shane Schlesinger, Nerusha Selvendra Raja, Sinthuya Selvendra Raja. Ragni Suresh, Kode Daniel Simons, Diane Francis Sozoda. <coughs> Jennifer Tall, Stephen Taylor, Laura Thompson, gold medalist. Lauren Urbanek, Nimesh Varatharaja, Alikhan Belji. Cassia Vilnef. Man Leo Wan, Nicholas Wicherak. Catherine Rag, Jian Fen Jiang, Samantha Yip. Leah Yun, Jianhui Zhang. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor or Baccalaureate of Science. Iman Ali, Carl Boys, Brittany Bryans.
Mary Kiang, Yan Yung Sharon Lung, Jessica Levesque. Matthew Michel, Michael Karachuk Mok, Leah Grace Jinyi Kwa. Sean Smith, Andres Soisa, Randy Souza. Lynn Walker, Jennifer Rose Wilson, Ginny Wong. Timothy David Wilkinson. In the name of the Senate, I grant to the registrar the authority to confer degrees and diplomas to those candidates whose names appear in the official program but who are not present today. And at this time, I'd like to invite Mr. Jim Etherington, past president of our Alumni Association, to say a few words. Jim. Mr. Chancellor. <laughs> recognizing that there's a certain amount of tension here to get on with celebrating. These were very brief remarks. On behalf of the volunteer board of directors of the Alumni Association of Western, I welcome you as members, whether an undergraduate or a graduate today. Everybody who has a degree today is a member. There are lots of good bargains and discounts and programs available. As an alum, I suggest you look into them. I also remind you there's a reception by the Alumni Association in the atrium of the University of the UCC uh, and uh, that's for you and, and your guests and members of the family, so I'll see you there. And finally, one thought, have a great life. Before closing convocation, I wish to express my appreciation to all who have contributed to the success of the day. And in particular, and on your behalf as well, I want to thank the University of Western Ontario Convocation Brass for their magnificent performance and their director, Professor James Mackay.
May I request that the audience remain at their seats while the academic procession leaves the hall. Convocation is now adjourned. Thank <laughs> you.